we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun We are up bright and early this morning. I get up every morning before my husband leaves for work and I make him a hot breakfast and I pack his lunch for the day. My husband is a truck driver in case you are new here. He's just started working locally before Christmas. We are so happy to have him home and I enjoy getting up even with it being super early. I enjoy getting him up, making him a hot breakfast and packing his lunch. It's just my way to show him that I love and appreciate him. Today's video is extra special because it is a part of an open collaboration hosted by myself and there is going to be all kinds of fellow homemakers sharing some amazing motivation with you guys. So make sure you check out the description box of this video and there will be a playlist link and you can see everybody's video and I hope you guys get some amazing motivation and maybe find some new fellow homemakers that you can start watching. It's the fire in the rain It's the smile within the pain It's the logic but insane You cannot know from where it came It's the way you cross the floor Before you head on out the door the figure on the wall so many times I heed the call it's the silence of the room the way you turn before you bloom another shadow for the blind I think I'm gonna lose my mind Once I get him all packed up and sent off to work, I try to lay back down and go back to sleep. Sometimes it doesn't happen, sometimes it does. It just depends on the day, um, but I try to lay down till about six and then I need to get Winston up and get him off to school. This day he was eating lunch at school, so I just had to pack his snack and his water bottle. Nothing can break 
break me, no, nothing can break me. I'm trying to get up and get going this morning. <laughs> it is Monday and I am tired. But making me a chai tea. Hopefully that will get me up and get me going. Um, I got some cleaning to do today. Some canning. I want to get some carrots put up. Um, and then get a supper started. We're going to do um, broccoli cheese soup in the crock pot. I seen someone share it on TikTok and I was like, oh, that sounds so good. And it's cold today, super cold today. So I think that will be perfect. And I'll probably do some bread bowls um, to go with it as well. So just come hang out, spend the morning and afternoon with me um, until I gotta go get Little Bear from school. <laughs> Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes, driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So I've got my pressure canner going on top of the dryer so that way I can get other stuff done over here. I've got my veggies cut up for my broccoli soup. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in the crock pot. So y'all know me, I found a recipe, but we ain't gonna follow it to the teeth. But I will have my inspiration link down below. Got two bags of broccoli, they are a pound each. I want a lot of broccoli in my broccoli soup. I'm gonna add in some onion. And then celery, carrots. I've got a whole pack of ham lunch meat. I'm gonna add in here. My pressure canner's making some noises now, so I hope y'all can still hear me, but I'm gonna add in a block of cream cheese and a one pound block of Velveeta. And then I'm gonna add in one quart of my home canned chicken broth. I'm gonna season it with some of this Kinder's, the blend, I love this stuff, it is so good. And then I've got two cups of milk and two cups of heavy cream. Then I'm just gonna put the lid on it let it start heating through um, and then we'll start I'll come back and mix it that way you know the cheeses start mixing everything together I'm just gonna cook it on low probably about six hours So 
The pressure canner's done. I unplugged it. It's coming down from pressure. Max, what are you doing? Quit. I got myself somewhat together. <laughs> I did wash off yesterday's makeup. I did still have that on. Um, and I put some clothes on um, so I can get out of my PJs. But we're going to get to cleaning. I need to clean Winston's room a little bit and then just do our normal daily cleaning. Well, something in Winston's room got all over my shirt, stained my fingers. So I'm gonna get it out with um, some power wash. Normally that works. It's gotta be marker or a stamp or something in there. I don't know how, but it got me. So I had to change again. Try to get that out and get it washed. Hopefully it doesn't stain my shirt. I put some chicken tenders in the oven so that way I can have myself some lunch. I didn't eat breakfast. Um, and I need to drink some water too. I just realized I haven't drunk water today. I just have been drinking on my chai tea. So I need to get that in with my, my elderberry. And y'all seen me put this in Winston's water this morning to help with um, immune support. It also has a vitamin C and zinc in it. And right now with all the germs at school, we definitely need it. <laughs> so I've been, I've been taking it and Winston's been taking it as well because every time Winston gets sick, I get sick. So I'm going to make sure to get that in my system. Probably going to do chicken wraps. I don't know if I said that a second ago, but that's probably what I'm going to do with that. I've got some spinach dressing tortillas that sounds good and some chips and then I need to pull the carrots out of the canner it's ready to go what else do I need to do oh I'm gonna make brownies I told Luke last week that I was gonna make brownies and honestly last week was a survival week for me my mental health was not good it just hit me it hit me like a ton of bricks Finally, since yesterday, I've been feeling better, back to myself, but all week last week was really, really bad. I did not do anything that I didn't have to, and I literally laid in bed and was just trying to survive. Y'all know I've talked about my mental health on here before, um, and I was really struggling last week, and so um, I still need to get those brownies done because I told him that I would do them. So let's do those. I have shared how I make my homemade brownies. They are so good. And when I shared the recipe, it's actually a dry mix that you can keep on your shelf. So I'm probably going to do a couple of those to keep on my shelf and then we'll make a batch of regular brownies as well. Okay, I'm going to do three jars worth to put in the pantry. I'll have the recipe that I'm using linked down below for you guys. We've made these brownies several times and they are so good. Love them. And then like what I'm doing is I'm just mixing up the dry mix and then we will put the dry mix in these mason jars, vacuum seal them. So we have our own brownie mix ready to go. And then all you do is add in um, your egg 
vanilla, and butter when you're ready to, um, you know, mix them up to make brownies. And then I also like to add in chocolate chips, but you don't have to, or you can add nuts. You can add whatever you like to to your brownies. But I normally do in, I'm adding in some chocolate chips. Okay, got the brownies in. Um, I'm going to vacuum seal these jars. I've shared these a bunch on here. Um, Amazon storefront. Uh, these are also in my Amazon storefront, the labels. So I'm gonna get these put up and sealed. That way they are shelf stable. I would say six months to a year in my opinion, but of course they're not gonna last that long. We probably make brownies at least once a month, if not twice a month, so. And someone actually asked me the last time I was doing the, I think it was in a grocery haul where I did some dry mixes and asked why I put the cupcake liner in here. Um, so I do it if the jar is all the way full because when you put the vacuum sealer on, all of the dust and everything can get in here and it can mess up your vacuum sealer and you cannot get a good seal. Um, so if you put the cupcake liners in, that kind of helps from that debris coming up. That way you get a better seal when you are vacuum sealing. Look, I got the wrong attachment out. Um, but like if I do it like, you know, like if it's like half full, I personally don't, but you know, that's just me. Um, but if they are fuller like this, I definitely try to put something in there. That way it doesn't mess up my vacuum sealer. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this. Real life over here. Uh, I forgot about the brownies. The edges are a little bit dark. But I think they're still edible. We just may have to cut around the edges. But that happens. I got distracted at doing all the things. <laughs> Getting the dishes and everything done. The soup is looking so good. I did give it another season. But I'm so excited. I really hope that that turns out. I've got my bowls out. So I am going to do um, bread bowls for this. I feel like I just have to. It's gonna If it's going to be good, we got to go all out. Um, so I'm going to do a double batch that way, because one batch, we'll do two bowls. So I'm going to do two batches of that. Go ahead and get it started because it's going to take a few hours to rise and everything. And then my chicken wraps didn't happen. I've just been eating it out of the pan and eating my chips as I'm working. So yeah, that happens. <laughs> okay, this bread is literally four ingredients. Flour, all-purpose flour, yeast, salt, and water. I'm going to mix it 
cover it with a towel, let it sit for two to three hours, maybe a little longer, just gonna depend on your house and you know how fast stuff rises. But, and then we'll get it out and you know, closer to time, I'll bring you back, we'll form it and get them put in the oven. It is cold. Turn my seat warmer on. Ah. Oh, goodness. It is time to go get Winston from school. Y'all, <laughs> I went in to find Winston some clothes and I hit the jackpot. I got a bread machine for $10. And this, the rest of this cart, besides this plate, the rest of this cart is filled with different size mason jars. I got this whole cart for $25. And she got me a Nerf And gun. I got him a Nerf gun. But y'all, there's so many mason jars in here. Winston made himself an after school snack, got his Lunchable and peanut butter and banana. Okay, here is everything that I got. I spent $41 total. Um, all of the mason jars were $25. There's different sizes, different kinds. And then I got the spread machine for $10. Really hoping it works. <laughs> if not, I can just return it and get $10 in store credit, but it has the manual in it. So I feel like that's a good sign that it might work. Um, I'm gonna plug it in in a second, see if it turns on. And then I love old, like the thin vintage plates. So I found this one, so I picked it up. I thought it was cute, but I'm gonna go through, get all the mason jars out. Check them for chips and see how many good ones we get to keep. Okay, I think we counted 82 or 83. I don't remember. It was 80. There was more than 80. But anyways, I got all of these for $25.99 or $24.99. Yay! Oh my gosh, you guys. Only one of them was chipped, so I'm not able to use it, but the rest of them look fine just from a quick glance. But, you know, I'll do a double check when I go and wash them, but oh my gosh. I cannot believe I got all these. Y'all, it's spinning. Ah! I hit the jackpot today. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I stopped at Goodwill. This thing's gotta be cleaned, but ah! I got a second bread machine for $10. Oh my goodness. Our bread dough is ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and get it shaped and divide it up into four bread bowls. I do have my oven preheated at 450. I will make sure to have the recipe link down below that I used. We have used this recipe several times, and it is so, so good.
It's about time to eat. Got the bread bowls in, they're almost done. Taste tested it, added a little bit more seasoning. And then I ended up adding in a cornstarch slurry just because we, you know, wanted a little bit thicker. So it is, it tastes so good. Oh, yum. I'm so glad it worked out. It was it's creamy, smooth, delicious, full of protein and veggies. I'm so excited to eat. So I thought I would show you the inside of it. This, I just cut the top out. So I'm gonna hold the inside. Of course, you know, we can use that to dip in the soup, but I'm just gonna hold the inside out and then ladle in the soup. Supper was delicious. That's all I have to say. It was so, so good. I will make sure to have my version of this broccoli soup typed out for you guys. One, I want it for myself, and then that way I can share it with y'all. After supper, I just get everything cleaned up, and then I get Winston off to bed, and we do it all again the next day. Don't forget that today's video is a collaboration, so make sure you check out the playlist that will be linked in the description box so y'all can get all kinds of homemaker motivation. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.